Every major technology changes how we live. The printing press rewired religion, electricity transformed cities, the internet connected a planet in real time. But some inventions don't just change how we live, they change who we are. AI agents are that kind of invention. They don't just answer questions, they set goals, make decisions, and take action without you. This isn't just ChatGPT writing a paragraph. This is Devin writing, testing, and shipping software. This is AutoGPT planning and executing a full marketing campaign. This is Barna replacing 700 employees with one system update. Because AI agents don't need your instructions, they just need your permissions. You are no longer the user, you're the overseer of something that thinks and acts for you. My name is Sam Woods. I've worked with AI since 2016, which is before that ChatGPT hype, and I trained Fortune 1000 teams on how to use agents not just to move faster, but to think and work smarter. AI agents might be the last invention humanity ever needs to make, and here's why. We tend to romanticize the internet era as the golden age of innovation, and that's for a good reason. The internet turned information into power. It connected humanity into a single nervous system of data and ideas. You could search for anything, learn anything, share anything, all within seconds. That changed everything from education to communication and even politics. A teenager in India could learn how to code with YouTube and then land a remote job at a Silicon Valley startup. A man could start a podcast and become more influential than CNN, Fox, and the New York Times put together. And someone could live stream a protest that happened in real time and force change and force politicians to actually adjust policy. But the internet still required us to act. Google gives you 10 million search results, but you have to pick one. Amazon gives you 400 plus choices, but you still have to decide which one. You still have to type the email, click send, click other buttons, navigate software, and do things on your computer and on the internet. Which means that you make hundreds, maybe even thousands of micro choices every single day. Which means that the internet made information abundant, but humans are still the bottleneck for getting things done. That was the information age. You were the decision maker until now. Because AI agents are changing how we interact with technology and the world. They can actually make decisions for us and then take action and that's the biggest shift that we as human beings have ever seen. Why? Well, because this shift isn't just technological, it is also cognitive. It changes the role we play in our digital environment. Just look at Manus, GenSpark, and Proxy. These agents don't just complete tasks, they break them down, create to-do lists, searches the internet, writes code, creates asset, and executes its own plan in its own loop until the goal is achieved. So you don't give it steps, you just give it an objective and the finish line and it'll do it for you. Maybe you want to create a marketing campaign. My team has produced over 100 different customer acquisition funnels, probably even over 150 of them. We have written and sent for over 14,000 emails over the years, probably well over 20,000 ads across all platforms. And now an agent can pretty much do all of that faster than we ever could. There's also Devin, Cognition AI's agent. Devin completed real coding tasks in open source projects, solving nearly 14% of real GitHub issues entirely on its own, outperforming the best previous AI models by 7x. And it is so much more than just getting faster results. Klarna's AI assistant handled over 2.3 million customer conversations, which is the equivalent of about 700 full team staff members. That's not just a marginal improvement, that's industrial scale decision making done without people in the loop. AI agents are pretty much giving us access to an infinite level of decision making skills and decision decision-making process. And in a world built on leverage, whoever controls decision-making at scale also controls the future. So while you might think that AI agents are just another upgrade, in reality, this invention is a redefinition of human-computer interaction. We're going from having AI as a tool to something that takes action for us. But you don't need to fear AI, at least not in the way you think you should. See, every technological leap comes with a wave of fear, and this one one is no different. Factory workers feared automation. Now is writers, coders, lawyers, and even doctors watching AI draft documents, generate diagnoses, and execute business decisions. It feels like we're watching the floor collapse beneath us, not in the distant future, now. And the numbers validate this concern. McKinsey estimates that up to 30% of hours work globally could be automated by 2030. AI agents can already manage customer service, marketing funnels, legal analysis, and entire coding pipelines. It's already displacing real
real people in real time. Meta fired 3,600 people and they blame AI for it. And a CNN report says that 41% of companies worldwide plan to reduce their workforces by 2030 due to AI. So the threat is existential, not just for jobs, but also for our identities. If your work is your worth and then the work disappears, what's left? Well, history tells us that technology doesn't just destroy, it also reinvents. So embracing AI can lead to new industries and roles that enhance human potential. So yes, displacement is happening, but so is creation. And creation of jobs is happening on a scale we're only beginning to see. And now analysts project that AI could contribute up to $15 trillion to the global economy by 2030. We're already seeing new roles emerge, prompt engineers, AI ethicists, AI systems, architects, model trainers, AI behavior auditors. The list goes on. There's a ton of new work to be done with these AI models. And it's not just about niche roles. Businesses that adopt AI agents are reporting increased efficiency and faster innovation. They're getting more done with less resources. And this is not just for cutting jobs, but it's actually to increase value and growth in a company. Entire categories are being born again. We already have AI native agencies and human AI creative studios. So you can choose to resist the wave or you can learn to surf it. But this creation of jobs is slower than the destruction. Jobs will disappear faster than they are replaced. And that gap is where chaos lives. We're just getting started. But if you're seeing how big this shift really is, go ahead and tap subscribe. I'll keep showing you how to stay ahead of the curve and actually catch the wave instead of getting swept away by it. See, there's something deeper happening beneath the economic shifts and job charts. Something that's more personal and psychological. The internet gave us a taste of it. Algorithms that shape what we saw, what we clicked, what we bought. But even then, we still felt in control. We could close the tab and walk away. But with AI agents, that illusion is starting to dissolve. Because agents aren't just recommendation engines. They're active participants in workflows and processes. They can make choices on your behalf and take action on your behalf. They learn your preferences and your emotional patterns. And soon they could be managing your entire life if you wanted them to. So I'm talking about AI agents managing your calendar, health decision, finances, and even relationships. And they will not do it as assistants, but as advisors and proxies for your own judgment. The moment an AI becomes better than you at making decisions for your life is the moment you start giving up the will to make them yourself. And that's when we risk losing control of our lives forever. This is already happening. If we don't establish clear boundaries now, we may end up in a world where AI shapes human destiny more than humans do. There are also hard ethical questions that no one's really fully answering. Who is responsible when an AI agent makes a harmful decision on your part? What happens when they rack up a credit card bill because something went wrong in the code? And what happens when AI agent starts negotiating with each other for resources, rights, and outcomes that affect all of us? And beyond that lies the philosophical dilemma if AI handles everything, what does it mean to be a human being? What do we do when we are no longer the main character in our story? If you're watching this and thinking that I need to be using AI agents, not just reading headlines about them, then this is your next step. I've been in this game since 2016, long before ChatGPT existed, before prompt engineering was a thing, before prompt engineering had a name, and before anyone was building businesses with AI and AI agents. Since then, I've held Fortune 1000 companies, CEOs, and high-performing teams Teams turn AI into a real competitive edge and advantage for driving leads, closing sales, and scaling their entire operations. Bionic Business is where I show you how to do this for yourself and your business. Inside, I walk you through how to build and grow an autonomous business with AI agents. If you're ready to see how it works, tap the link on your screen or in the description and start now.